Are you traveling with a mobility scooter? Are you not sure of the process and lack confidence? Then you need to watch this video as I demonstrate in full detail how to catch a flight with your electronic companion. Taking a mobility device can be stressful and sometimes inconvenient. This video will clear up any misconceptions you have heard about. Make sure you stick around for the end of the video as I will embark on an Uber ride home from the airport. I told you you could do this. You just have to be willing because you absolutely can. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Take care. Thank you. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have made it to Fort Lauderdale International Airport by way of bus. And let me just tell you, it was not fun. It was absolutely crammed. You know, people do what they can to make space for you, but a lot of people really just don't pay attention to you. And, you know, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And well, now we're gonna go ahead and head on inside to the airport and uh, see what we got going on there. So we're gonna go ahead and go on in right here. Boom. Boom. Here we are. Back at baggage claim. So we have made it to the airport. And we're gonna catch our flight. Okay guys, now that we are here, I am going to provide you an in-depth guide on how to travel with a mobility device, including scooters and wheelchairs. And yes, that includes motorized wheelchairs. All of the information I am providing you at this time is current as of 2024. All of the disability laws and guidelines are set forth by the Department of Justice via the ADA, also known as the Americans with Disabilities Act, the Department of Transportation, the Federal Aviation Administration, Transportation Security Administration, and state level agencies such as the Florida Department of Transportation. Hey. All of this information can be found in separate links in the description of this video. I strongly encourage you to read through the material. These governmental websites contain very important information you should have on hand. Please keep in mind, I do these videos to help provide transparency and education to those who are handicapped and need assistance. I record real life situations to help you understand the inconveniences of a disabled traveler. It is common that people with disabilities are discriminated upon and I have had some rather interesting experiences, but when the cameras are rolling, it appears everyone is on their best behavior. I am an advocate for travelers with disabilities. I am an independent journalist who focus on ADA compliance. Enjoy this video as it's loaded with a ton of useful information. Since we are at the airport, we need to go to the ticketing counter to speak with an agent so we can gate check our mobility scooter. Gate checking your scooter is when they take your mobility device at the jet bridge and take your scooter under the plane. 
When you arrive at your destination, it will be brought back to the jet bridge where it was taken from you. This is the same process when checking a stroller or wagon. Your mobility device will then be tagged and this is an example of what it looks like. We're, uh, we're vloggers. Now there are some important things to understand when checking a mobility device like a scooter or power wheelchair. You must know whether or not your mobility device contains a lithium battery or a lead acid battery. If you are traveling with a lithium battery, you must be able to remove it and place it in your carry-on baggage. This is all done at the time you are about to get on the airplane. It is important to note that a lithium battery cannot exceed more than 300 watt hours. The battery specifications must be clearly labeled. Is a new scooter? Um, it's a, a new scooter and American Airlines got it brand new. I've had two flights with it already and not a single scratch on it. Yeah. You guys are doing awesome, awesome, oh, awesome. Nice. So I'm sure American corporate is going to be happy to see uh, this video come out that all their employees, every person we've experienced has been awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what is my mobile, mobile direct? Are we talking about Mobility action? direct, yep. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Ah. Well, very well. So we'll yeah. see you and you'll just... Uh, Give the key. We'll take it down to the bottom of the jet bridge. No, 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 no. We'll go down. They'll take it downstairs. Just take it right where the stroller is. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very right, much, guys. guys. Have a great one. Thank you so much for all your help. Yes. Thank you. So we're on. Great, how you doing? Crash in. Uh, Wilkes Bar. 
So this is two. Sh no, that's to sh Fort Lauderdale. That's Scranton, and Charlotte. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get home. Yeah, it's you. cold weather. Thank you, sir. Like well, it's coming back from 86 degree weather. That's a bit of a shock. Yeah, we'll I be here in January to too, back. so it'll be even colder. Real quick, sir. My, pardon the black eye. No, you're smiling more in the photo. <laughs> but you're all set. Appreciate it. Anytime. Take care. Thank you, you too. So now that I'm entering the checkpoint here, I'm going to have my belongings searched and I'm also going to have a special procedure where I am taken to a secondary area where I will be searched independently and then my scooter will all be also be searched for explosives and this has to do because it's an electronic and they need to make sure that the scooter hasn't been tampered with in any way whatsoever and that there's no trace evidence of any explosives Good, thank you. All right. You're staying in this? Yeah, I, I have right. balance issues. Okay, but. no problem. Pockets are 100% empty. Okay, perfect. There's bags no bags or anything. Right? Right? Nope, the bag's off. Is this? I'll have John cover your eyes too. Is this yours? Is that yours? That's my bag. Let me run this bag. Absolutely. Let me run this bag. Absolutely. Has any of your property come out yet? Huh? Has any of your property come out yet? No, not yet. Oh, my shoes. Alright, don't leave them there. Okay. Since you have any on this, we have to wait. What we'll do is we'll gather your property and we'll step to the side and I'll give you instructions as to what we're going to pass that part. Thank you. Are you? Okay. okay. Is it good for him to watch your things for you? It would be great. It would be appreciated. Okay, yeah, that's no problem. He can actually do it. I'm just going to wait till the rest of your stuff comes out. And when he comes through, thank you. Uh, what we'll that's do is he'll watch it. So once he comes through, he'll watch your property and step aside. Thank you. That's mine as well. <laughs> I got four bins, huh? All right. Three, three bins and a bag. Don't move. Step out. Just a minute. Good morning. That's uh his. Is this? Okay. Also, then this is all your stuff. Yeah, that's basically all of our stuff. Okay. And this guy, yeah, I'm Right down by my butt, I had an operation. Okay. No problem. Appreciate it. Pretty good private. No, it's good, yeah. All right. Turn the first step. Just like that, don't move. All right. Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Sir, why don't you come on down? Next pass, you're a little more space. Hey, sir. Take it out of my way. Oh, wait. Is it too? So, do you mind watching the property walk in the back? Yeah, we're going. All right, so we're actually going to have a little more space. Thank you, sir. So, we're going to move around this side. Okay. Just so we have a little more space. Absolutely. Oh, okay, great. So. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be conducting a pat down. What that sure. means I'm going to be touching all areas of your body, including sensitive areas, such as the groin, the buttocks. You can stay in the chair. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you can stay in, that's great. If okay, so now I am in the secondary screening area where I will be searched independently of my scooter, and my scooter will also be searched. But I will be t searched from head to toe and everything in between. It's a rather invasive search, but 
It's a pat-down that is required, and it's to keep everybody safe. It is also important to understand that I voluntarily stood up. If I was not able to stand up, I would be searched in a wheelchair independently of my scooter so that the process could be conducted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just explaining how you do it. Alright, once you so you don't lose your balance, I don't want you to No no no, just so you can keep your balance. There you go. Alright, I don't want you to lose your balance because like I said, you're going over a lot of areas. Thank you. This might take a minute. I don't want you to lose your balance at all. Again, as you can see, this search is very thorough and they are not missing an inch. But again, this is for passenger safety along with my safety and there is no invasion of privacy. Yeah, so some of the same things, arms up for one second. Alright, you can relax, hold your balance. Once your waistband, one second. second. Right, I'm gonna ask that you take a step back so I can get more room. Why don't you hold the edge of the seat? There we go, perfect. Alright, same as four. Right. Good morning. Good Way to be thorough, man. <laughs> I know it's a little much. Give me one second. Um, where's the going, white ball, please? Sort of. Can you test the chair anyway? So, regardless if you touch the chair and it, that happens, I have to check it in or else. So don't worry about it. Versus me, then it's the chair. Versus Hold the hat for one second. Now that I have been searched completely, the TSA agent is going to move on to the scooter. He's also going to check that from top to bottom, and he's going to swab and touch all surfaces of the scooter and then test it for explosives. This is to make sure that the scooter has not come in contact with any explosives and therefore is not subject subject to any issues when passing through TSA screening. <laughs> and now that we're waiting on the sample to be analyzed, we should be getting the all clear here in just a moment. And one more second, once that's clear, no, no, it's fine, you don't have to do all that, I understand. That our compartment's fine, I appreciate that though. Yeah, absolutely. You want your shoes? We got Please. Yes. All right, you're all set, sir. Thank you. No problem. Need some help getting in, sir? I'm okay. Thank you very much. Just making sure. Thank you, sir. I'll take the basket. And then the only thing that's left is your laptop and laptop bag. I didn't know how you put it in there. Now that the search has been concluded, I can now gather my belongings, put my scooter back together, and proceed through the remainder of the TSA checkpoint and continue through the airport, through the terminal, and get to my destination gate. They've been absolutely great here at Bolt's Bar. They've been great. live uh, shorts video that I'm Fantastic. Thank you for everything and thank you for being uh, very thorough. Have a great one. Thank you. All right, we have made it through TSA. Now that we are in this large airport, it is time to go for a ride. So enjoy this little ride along as I take you through the airport.
When you get to your gate, make sure you visit the desk where you can speak to a gate agent about your mobility needs. People with disabilities usually board the plane first. With that in mind, I chose not to board first and chose not to put myself in front of the line. If you cannot walk at all, you will be able to get wheelchair assistance to your seat. There are specific wheelchairs that can help you to your seat on board the aircraft with the assistance of airline staff. While waiting for your flight, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to our channel. It's free and it doesn't cost you anything. Clicking the subscribe button keeps you up to date with our latest videos and posts. It also automatically enters you to win a mobility scooter. We often pick random subscribers who like and comment on our videos. So take the second while you have it and subscribe now. You could be our next lucky winner. Also, if you haven't been to our website, mobilitydirect.com, make sure you do. You can obtain your very own copy of our catalog Absolutely free just by visiting mobilitydirect.com and clicking the green free catalog button at the top of the website. Fill out your basic information and we will have it to you in just a couple of weeks via USPS. I didn't know, okay. It's not my fault. For your safety and the safety of others, please use Oh, this looks really cool, dude. Again, I do these videos to help you understand the real challenges you will face and to information for the people with disabilities. These services are available to you and for you to use. You just have to ask. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a tag on that? I sure do. It's on my back right side. Thank you. So now that we are in the jet bridge, we are going to take this all the way down right to the entrance of the plane. At that point, I am going to get off of my scooter and remove the lithium battery that I have on the scooter and place it into my carry-on luggage. And I'm going to fold the scooter. Now I'm going to mention that if you fold the scooter, there's more chance of the scooter being damaged because it's smaller and easy to lift. If it's not folded, and it looks like an expensive mobility scooter, it's less likely to be thrown around. So you just might want to keep that tip in the back of your mind because it is very common that mobility scooters are damaged by airlines. Thank you, sir.
All right, so check this out. Looking out the window here, I can see that they are rolling my mobility scooter over to the cargo to go ahead and load this into the hold of the airplane. Pretty neat footage. All right, and now that we've reached our destination, it is time for us to get off the plane and get our mobility scooter. Hopefully it's going to be waiting by the door by the time I get off the airplane, but a lot of times it isn't. It's really a 50-50 chance of the scooter being there. Sometimes you have to wait a little while depending on the situation down below on the ground, but with some patience, You'll make it through and you'll thank have you a for great your service. Day. Ladies first. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah, I was looking as it was coming down. It looked pretty cool. It's a, it's a neat scooter. So they bring it what do they have? The two guys carried up, Drew? Absolutely. All right. Thanks for those guys. Take care. Let me the just get in front. The of this is that the battery has to be taken out because of lithium, right? They can't roll it. When you're getting off the airplane and you are going to retrieve your mobility device such as your scooter or power wheelchair, it's important to inspect it for damage. Damage may have occurred when loading it into the plane or because of turbulence. In any regard, you need to make sure that you inspect it so that in the event that there is damage, you can file a claim immediately with the airline so that they can take care of it for you. The airlines are responsible for your wheelchairs, scooters, and power wheelchairs, and other mobility devices. So make sure that your scooter or mobility device is not damaged. And if it is damaged, file a claim right away. As I'm here at baggage claim waiting for my suitcase, I do want to mention that flying with the mobility scooter has been an absolute breeze. I find it that many people have been accommodating, all of the staff has been accommodating, everybody has met my needs and provided me the assistance that I needed. And overall, it had been a great experience.
Well, everyone, we are just one elevator trip away from the parking lot from ending this journey. It really has been a great experience, and I'm sure we'll be doing it again soon. What is going on, guys? So I am back at the airport, and I'm heading home, and... Uh, what I'm gonna do here is go out and get myself an Uber and get back to my car. And then I'm gonna go home for the night. And then I'm gonna edit a video and give you the experience that I had while traveling with my pride, Go Go Carbon Folding Mobility Scooter. It was great, but I had some ups and downs. And you know, that's what I do these videos for, to give you real life experiences so you can understand what to expect in any circumstance. So, guys, if you found this video to be informative, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and stay up to date with our videos. We pump out videos like these all the time. They're very informative and very thorough. So, again, I'm Drew with Mobility Direct. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your views, and we hope that you found this video to be the absolute best knowledge for the purpose that you need it. Again, I'm Drew with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much. Have a great day.